In this video, I'm going to give you detailed instructions about how to find old bicycles at garage sales. Step one, go to a garage sale. Step two, buy an old bicycle. Like this, Sunbeam 3-speed. The Sunbeam 3-speed has a big basket on the front. So if you're trying to get in shape, you can put your dumbbells in the basket. Now, to be fair, it's probably not going to be easy to ride your Sunbeam 3-speed with a big heavy walled basket down the street with 40 pounds of dumbbells in it. So uh, don't do it. Now if we look carefully down here, we can see, I'm going to have to put my hand behind here just so the camera will know where to focus, a Sunbeam logo. You can't see it too well because it's kind of dark. The sun's a different place. Here's your walled basket. Your stem, which is probably a Raleigh stem. It might have a Sunbeam logo, but it's all Raleigh. It's all the same stuff. This is a Sturmy Archer 3-speed bike. One, two, three. It's so creepy. There's like an animal out in the woods just making noise. There's your stem again. Here's your brake lever. I like this, it has sort of like a little hanger cable bracket thing. And down here under this awesome basket, we have the front brake and the fender. Oopsie, a little bit of rust on the fender. Maybe I should have only paid $9 for this bike instead of 10. Let's go down the fork. I don't know if this is a stock strip of reflective tape, but it's okay. And these chrome fork tips are real cool. Who knew? Chrome fork tips on an old English three-speed. So uh, let me try to focus on the hub instead of the leafs. The hub's all crusty. That's weird. Now, grips, handlebar grippers, as one lady on uh, Craigslist calls them. Brooks seat, it looks like a 172, 187, I don't know. It's kind of messed up. Might be salvageable, might be salvage. Right here on the back, it says Brooks. Oh, you know what I think this is? I don't think it's a 172, I think it's a B72. B72, okay. Back rake. Here, I'll hold the camera with the other hand and I'll hit the back brake. Look. Action video. Oh, and the bike fell over. Four little reflective stripes on the seat tube. And unlike the Raleigh, this does not have a brazed on pump holder, which is fine with me. Cleaner lines. It does have a chrome fork cap. A little pinstripe on the fender in the front all the way down to the bottom there. Block pedals, reflectors, which are remarkably effective. You don't know it when you're riding the bike. When you're in a car and you see this little reflector from half a mile away, it's really great. Cottered cranks. This does not have a really complicated die cut sprocket like some of the Raleigh's. It just looks like an old Simon game. Kind of crappy cranks. There's your Sunbeam logo on the chain guard. You gotta guard your chain against, you know, stuff. There's your little three speed chain thing. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but the hub is marked 71.4, which means this is, the hub was made in April 1974. So, the Sunbeam is probably under the Raleigh umbrella. They bought a million companies back in the 60s. It's just a very basic woman's three-speed bike. It's in pretty good condition considering how old it is. What's that, like 45 years old? And considering I paid a whopping $10 for it. And within a week or a couple weeks, this will be fixed up and rolling through the city. New York City, Brooklyn. And I'm glad to see it have a second life. And hopefully, you enjoyed watching this video. So, thanks for watching.